Greetings, Tubadors. Well, it's been more than a week, closer to two weeks actually, since uh, since the last video. But that's because I've been decorating, which is an unfeasibly tedious activity, uh, but something that does need to be done from time to time. So that's what I've been doing for the past eight days: slapping paint around, sanding skirtings, putting new skirtings on all the boring shit that comes with home ownership. But here we go again then. Now we're back and thank you so much for joining me. Now, again, we're gonna be delving into the world of the flat art. I've been putting a small series of videos together. I've done two already, two or four. Um, first one dealt with the, uh, the ultra Christians who believe that the Bible is the answer to life, the universe uh, and everything. And in episode two, um, we looked at the more secular conspiracy nuts um, who unthinkingly adopt just about any conspiracy that they come across, including Flat Earth, um, based, it seems, uh, entirely on their own idiocy and a lack of excitement in other areas of their lives. The charlatans, on the other hand, are an entirely different animal. Um, <clears throat> they're usually, usually the more prominent of the flat earth promoters. Uh, people like um, Anthony Riley, Nathan Oakley, um, uh, Bob Nodell, and uh, until recently, the, the charming and fragrant Patric Patricia Steer. Um, although she's recently disappeared from all forms of social media. Um, maybe she went looking for the Southern ice, ice Wall. Maybe she traveled down south and fell off the edge of the world. We can only hope. Anyway. In this sort of little um, little evaluation, I'm not going to count people like Mark Sargent, um, simply because I think he, he genuinely does believe the Earth to be flat, but I also think he has some very genuine mental issues. Um, I think most flat earthers have got mental issues of some description, um, but you've only got to watch any video of Mark Sargent to realise that there they really is something something wrong there, something lacking. Um, there are other flatoids that I'm sure we are all aware of, um, but let's stay with the most prominent promoters. Um, why then do I think they're charlatans? Well, quite simply because I am confident that they are all perfectly aware that the Earth is a spinning globe. Um, the physics behind that fact isn't even particularly difficult to grasp. And there is so much evidence um, to prove that, uh, that we do live on a globe that it really is beyond any doubt whatsoever. Um, they know it's a sphere. Um, you've got Nits, um, who I suppose could have been included in the Ultra Christians uh, episode, but I think he belongs more in this charlatan section, to be honest with you. Um, then you've got, you know, Anthony Riley, who goes on Amazon and buys a lab coat, uh, which was, I think, a calculated move to try and present a more, you know, professional air. Did it work, Tom? Did it work? Um, and then you've got Nick Davis. Um, I know many of you will be thinking, Nick Davis? Nick who? Well, more usually known as uh, Phuket Word. Um, why do I think he's a charlatan? Well, if you listen to the way he speaks, um, he's actually got what appears to me to be, you know, a quite um, almost a public school, public educate, public school education accent. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like to me. But he does sound relatively well educated, and he, even the, you know, notorious Bob Nodell, although he has lied about his uh, various engineering qualifications. Um, he has actually proved his own standpoint um, of a stationary earth to be false. And I'm sure you're all familiar with the, uh, the videos of him doing that. And whilst Mr. Oakley, Mr. Nathan Oakley, obviously has some issues of his own going on, I think he too fits into this category of charlatan because of his constant prompting um, during his daily online twat gatherings for, for people to be extremely generous with the old super chat. For those of you who don't know, live uh, online hangouts a thing called super chat people can drop in they click super chat they can donate money often um often not in considerable sums we're not talking hundreds or thousands but um you know two five ten pounds at a time it all adds up you know it all adds up and uh, uh talking of nathan oakley um another reason i 
think, or don't think, but I'm pretty confident that he's a charlatan is because of certain comments that he made in an open forum. Um, text comments while he was in conversation with, uh, with Anthony Riley. Now, to lend credence to this, um, I'm going to play a segment from a video that is released by a YouTuber who goes by the name Cat Earth. Um, go and take a look at his channel, um, you know, bit of support, spread the love. Um, but maximum respect to him for very quickly screen capturing the comments that I'm about to show you before Nathan Oakley realised they were public and very swiftly deleted the thread. Now I'll put a link to the full video in the description below, but this is the important bit right here. Really, but um, later on Riley started talking to uh, to Nathan. And he was screen sharing. Now you, you, the audience couldn't see it because Nathan usually has his, um, you know, the picture of the sunset that proves, for, you know, globe Earth and disproves flat Earth that he always likes to sort of have on the screen at all times, which is kind of ironic. But um, but I could see it and I started to screenshot it. Uh, and I'm going to read a little bit of it to you now because it's very interesting. So here we go. So it says, stop. Don't talk about the lighthouse. Don't talk about the effing light from the lighthouse one. It's a trap. I understand the trap now. Big trap one. Riley says, go on. The lighthouse projection is 21 miles from the lighthouse. So it's 10 miles. I can't do it. So it's 10 miles away. Not 31. So it proves the bulge. The light is focused at 21 miles out to sea. So he says it proves the bulge. Ah, I see. And here's a killer. Here's a killer comment. So it's the question of does the light come to the eye or does the eye see the light? I'll let you think about that one. Does the light come to the eye or does the light, does the eye see the light? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like, but that's not that, that's not the word. Here we go. No, the light it produces is ten miles from you at a height of two hundred and twenty feet. Perfect globe proof. So why perpetuate the myth of the flat Earth despite the obvious truth that it's a globe? Why do these people do it? Why, after all the evidence that can be put before them, um, evidence that they will immediately turn around and discount, Marky, without any basis whatsoever for this counting it why do they still insist on promoting this flat earth nonsense well the answer i think is twofold first money and to a lesser extent to save face having actually realized their grave error um in the face of all of, all of the overwhelming evidence i just mentioned now even if these people started off as questioning the globe earth model they have all had the truth pointed out to them so many times that they cannot possibly still think that they're right. Um, but if they come out and admit that they were wrong, um, they could potentially lose a vast number of subscribers, which would, you know, seriously devalue their YouTube channels uh, in, uh, in the money generating department. They would also likely lose a huge number of financial patrons. Um, if they have accrued any through sites like Patreon. Um, but as, as I made brief mention to earlier, on several occasions, these flat earthers themselves have proved the globe model. Now, Oakley and Riley, with the whole lighthouse routine that we saw a moment ago, they obviously know that the earth is, uh, is a sphere, or at least Nathan Oakley knows it's a sphere. Bob Nodell, um, he proved the 15 degree per hour rotation of the earth with the um, hundred what was it uh, the twenty thousand um, dollar fiber optic ring gyroscope and I'll bet the wealthy fleurfer who paid for that was fucking gutted um, and let's not forget the arch numpty of the flat earth world Geronism now he proved the eight inches per mile squared rule on video for the whole world to see and not just on video but on an internationally released film i think it's called behind the curve um i've only ever watched it once um that was enough for me there's only so much dumb i can take in one go and i'm afraid of over an hour of it in one place is just far too much for me but um he set up his experiment well i tell you what why don't you take a look at it We have a backup experiment. If you're seeing through this hole, 
through the next hole and seeing the light at the backboard or at 17 feet off the water. The earth is flat. If he's holding it up at 23 feet high and we're seeing the light, well, that's because the earth's curved. So I, I should only be able to see it when it's at 17 feet. OK, go ahead and drive down there, Enrique. You're going to hold the light there. Enrique, how high is your light? 17 feet. I mean, I, you know, it's his, um, there's, we don't see you, Enrique. Lift up your, lift up your light way above your head. Interesting. Interesting. You see what I mean? These people have proved it and not just proved it. They have performed the experiments which have concluded in a result that could be predicted by the established scientific method that surrounds the whole globe Earth. The, these people each have a strong online presence. Um, the, many of them have got great numbers of subscribers. Many of them have got vast numbers of patrons. So if they are simply perpetuating the lie for financial gain, they can certainly be considered amongst the lowest of the low. Now, due to the concept of uh, intersectionalism, which is for the most part a political concept, but if you don't know what it is, go and look it up, and I'm sure you'll agree intersectionalism can also be applied to the many and various types of flat earther that's, uh, that's around flat earther, flat earther. Um, most, most of the leading flurfers today can be slipped into more than one section. But considering that many of them have, have conducted these experiments, which have ultimately proved the exact, exact opposite of the answer that they were looking for, um, to keep denying the globe in the face of such awful, overwhelming and contrary evidence proves beyond any reasonable doubt that they are either too damn stupid to understand what it is they're looking at, which will simply be a case of, you know, well, don't bother me with the facts, my mind is already made up, um, or they are so desperate to keep their channels monetized, um, otherwise they might have to go out and find themselves real jobs, that they are more than happy to invent any number of excuses as to why their experiments gave them what they consider to be the wrong answer. And so they will blatantly lie to their followers so that they can continue in, in that endeavor. Now, I get a lot of gobby, globe-denying keyboard warriors commenting on my videos. And quite a few, a few trolls who come on and make equally uh, aggressive comments on the video, videos of flat ads, but uh, I will ignore those. It's, it's actually just as much fun winding them up. They think they, that they're winding you up. They really get wound up. It's like being triggered. Um, but anyway, to those people who follow these flat earthers, these prominent flat earthers who will you know, passionately wait for the next video to release, that they will sit, they'll, they'll sit through three hours of online hangouts. I, I ask this of you, right? Take a good long look at those people that you are following on YouTube, okay? Watch the videos where they disprove their own theories and then try desperately to invent some new and often ludicrous theory as to why they didn't get the answers that they wanted. They will try and they will take the result and they will try and twist it into something that firstly has no basis in physics, mathematics, any of the sciences, but they hope will continue to keep them in the flat earth limelight. Um, question these people as to why it is that every single model that can be put forward to easily discount a geocentric stationary flat earth, like it's um, it's observable longitudinal curvature, visible at ground level. Um, NASA photographs, uh, yes, they are real. Um, sunsets, seasons, eclipses, gravity, the, the processional cycle of the Earth, uh, day and night on the same planet at the same time, um, the visible phases of the inner planets, um, the seven planets and one dwarf planet in our own solar system, 4,000 plus exoplanets, um, that have been spotted um, within our galaxy, but in other solar systems, question why it is that all they do is they tell you to disbelieve or blatantly deny the existence of those things when they are so obviously real. Um, it can only be really for one reason they do this, and that is to perpetuate the myth 
they are making a handsome living promoting. Now, if you observe the truth of the globe earth for yourselves and stop following and, and patronizing and pandering to the e-scrounging through super chat and Patreon and things like that, they wouldn't have a reason to keep lying to you flat earthers. Now, it's easy to prove the globe to yourselves using scientific means. The fundamental basis of scientific endeavor is the complete opposite to the flat earth. Um, I don't say model because they don't have a model. The flat earth philosophy then, if you like. Um, true science, true scientific endeavor is that you will test the hypothesis of others um, and then test it to your own satisfaction. This is called peer review and is a fundamental requirement of any scientific proposition. Real scientists can't get anything published without it first being peer reviewed. Um, those who are promoting flat earth will tell you time and again that there is no need to test the hypothesis as they know the truth and everything else is lies. Um, the Catholic Church treated its faithful congregation in the same way for well over a thousand years. Um, they, you know, don't question us, don't search for truth yourselves, just have faith in everything we tell you and blindly spread the word whilst giving us your money. Sounds a lot like the prominent Flat Earth Brigade. But if you do question them, you will soon see that these charlatans are relying entirely on your faith, on nothing but their word, rather than you going and observing those things for yourselves. So if you are one of these, uh, one of these flat earthers, then please don't just sit there and blindly take whatever they say on faith, question it. Don't just look at flat earth videos, look at um, scientific educational videos. I'm not a scientist. I've got a basic understanding of physics, reasonably good understanding of mathematics as well, but I'm in no way a mathematician or a physicist. I know enough to know that I don't know very much. There are videos online that explain it at you know a secondary school level. Go on, watch the videos, learn from them, and then you will be able to understand for yourself the concepts of flat earth are complete and utter garbage and hopefully we'll be able to put this subject to bed. Probably not for a few years, but eventually. Anyway, I think I've gone on far too long, um, far longer than I intended to, because as I say at the beginning of the video, I've been decorating and I've still got a fair bit of decorating to do. So I best crack on with that. As always, thank you for stopping by. If you've made it this far, perhaps you would consider subscribing. Um, if that's the case, then, uh, you know, give, Give the little subscribe button down here a flick, or in a second when Thor pops up there, give him a click. And uh, also click that bell notification. That means that YouTube will send you an email on my behalf telling you when my next video is uploaded. So, as I already said, thank you for watching. I do appreciate each and every single one of you. Thumbs up or thumbs down, comment, don't comment, it's all good. Thanks for stopping by, take care of each other, be safe, and I'll catch you next time. Until then, Hold